remember the minute I seen Jane. She doesn't remember me. I just fell in love. It took me a while to convince her. <laughs> that was good. Let's do one more. Hi, I'm Matt Moran, and welcome to Kitchen Tales. There's nothing I like more than catching up with mates while I cook for them in my kitchen, where all the best stories are told. Yeah, right. Give me your hat. There we go, like that. There you go. <laughs> Even Matt Moran makes mistakes. Makes mistakes, I do. No! <laughs> so join us in the kitchen. I'm looking forward to sharing their kitchen tales with you. It's better than I thought, actually. Look at that, and the cat's helping. <laughs> my next guests are a fairy tale couple. In fact, they've been together for over 30 years. He's a rock and roll legend. And as they say, behind every great man, there's a greater woman. And Jane is certainly that. She's also a phenomenal cook. So today is all about Jane's story. And uh, Jimmy, you're waiting in the wings, buddy. Jane and Jimmy Barnes are right here now. I'll go on and get them. Jane, come on, come in. How are you? How are you, gorgeous lady? How are you? You all? Oh man, guitar and all. Come in. And come the road. Oh, what have you? Jam. I made you some raspberry jam. Oh, from the farm? <laughs> well, not the farm. It's just. It's not quite like yours. Yeah, from my place. Hell yeah. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Mate, yeah, you really leave good. that there? I'll leave it on there. Come and sit down. I'm nervous. <laughs> Only because normally the people I invite over to do kitchen tales, they actually. They're not great cooks. Um, and, and I know that you are a phenomenal cook, you know. Not only have I seen it, but, you know. I'm a mere mortal. You're a mere mortal. Compared to you. <laughs> and now you can play a guitar and sing, you know. That's, that's everything, you know, all, all rolled up in one. Um, now, we had a conversation about um, some food prior to you guys coming. Um, and there's some fantastic stories. You know, I love the story about, you know, before you met Jimmy, he was only having... Um, mints on toast. <laughs> mints and toddies. <laughs> mints and toddies. Mints yeah. <laughs> um, and, but who cooked the mints? Oh, well, it's a very Scottish. My mum used to cook, just fry it with onion. Yeah. Uh, maybe ca carrots was yeah. a bit exotic. <laughs> carrots? Yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's really simple. That's uh, funny uh, you with, said. With potato. That's that, what you, uh, Scots, Glaswegians live on it. That's, that's funny because um, my chef and I were actually getting some stuff ready and we, I'm going to make you some mints on toast. Good. But my, my style, I'm going to put a little bit of, a little bit sort of decadent. Then uh, we're going to do another I'll dish, which tips. I'm going to need your help. You know, right. I've already made some, but we're going to talk about it together because it's something I've never, ever done before. But how um, do you know I can help you? Because, you know, you, you've cooked it before. I know you have. All right, okay. Uh, and I know, right. I know the story behind it and I know oh. how much he loved it. Oh, so no. We're, we're, <laughs> I've done one that I'm going to start it from scratch and we'll see how we go. Okay. Um, and the mints on toast, I'm going to just put my little spin on it, um, as I always have to, you know, something a little bit more decadent. I don't think you can mess it up. Mince no. it, I mean, if my mum could do it, anybody can. <laughs> no, I'm going to put onions, carrots, celery. Like a sofrito. Yeah, and a little bit of um, paste, mm -hmm. some garlic, um, some Worcestershire, some beef stock, but I'm going to then put a little bit of decadence in it. And then you'll have to wait and see what that is. So, mm. do you still eat mince on toast? All the time. Mean? You yes. do? All the time. Really? Jane makes really good mince on toast, yeah. Cottage pie, mince Cottage on pie, toast. Cottage pie, mince on toast. But now she's, now, now she's making with, um, with the really, with ragu sauces and stuff. Oh, are you? <laughs> yeah. You're getting, fancy. getting, getting really a fancy. fancy now. No, you know what I, I do? I make like a cheesy sweet potato and potato topping. Yeah, right. A cheesy buttery one. Yeah, right. Well, mm. that's, that's gonna, a bit com, Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of cheese on mine too. Uh, oh, I just saw a recipe when they, they had a little bit of toast and they just sprinkled a little bit of um, cheddar on top. So I thought cheddar, you know, it's not Scottish, but it's not yeah, far no, off, right. is it's it? Close really? enough. It's close enough. <laughs> So, I was thinking earlier, how long have you guys been married? 40 years soon. 40 years. 40 years. So, I, I said in the intro, over 30 years. Yeah, well, that's, well, that's right. That, it's, it's a fairy tale, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's good. No, it's been great, you know. But, uh, we, we were talking about it yesterday, and it's sort of, uh, it's got better. Isn't you know? it great that he's talking about it? Still, yeah. you know? Well, we, we did this, uh, we were part of the, the um, Australian Love Stories. Yeah, and, and that the, was look, yeah, we went to see the that National Gallery. The National, National Gallery in Canberra? Yeah. The National Portrait Gallery. Right. Do you yeah. know I'm actually in that? I, yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, we're, I, we're I'm, in, I'm the in, in the Love Story. Yeah, no, I, not in the Love Story. And this is quite in the embarrassing. Love Food Story. <laughs> Someone took a photo of me, it would have been over 20 years ago. He uh, wanted to reproduce um, the boy with fruit. Do you want me to show you? I've seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, sure. I have seen it. it. Have you it's seen great. it? It's great. Let me see. It is, it is. Jimmy, please don't, don't get any, <laughs> I think any I opinions whatsoever. 
<laughs> really? No. You, why are you prepping me for this? I'm what, just what telling you, you because it's not what you would think that I would be doing. Yeah. You know, it, it's I a beautiful shot. It's a beautiful shot in the in the, in the national portrait. I was young. Course, I was impressive. impressive. <laughs> yes, I that you're making and excuses you already. Amazing. I love it. I did see this. Yeah. I had I'd seen that. Where, where did we see that? I showed it you to you. You showed it to me, yeah. Oh, so that's in the gallery. That's, 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 that's in, in the National Portrait Gallery. That's in the National Portrait Gallery. It's great. It's been there for years. Oh, Murray yeah. Fredericks is the, the, yeah. um, the photographer. Mm -hmm. So it was a, it's yeah, a love it's, story and it's a, it's a photo of you too. It's love stories. Yeah. And it's an, you know, it's a display. Just that for now. Stan Brown. Stan Brown. And, and all nice. sorts of people. And Brown and Rachel Brown, Nick Cave and his wife. I, I saw um, something on TV. Yeah, um, and, and our nephew, Jesse Lazotte, he's his son. Yeah, right, and yeah, Jeff yeah. And yeah. Jen's sister. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a great photographer. Great young photographer, very talented. Yeah, right. And um, we thought, who better, you know, like yeah, yeah, somebody yeah. who's known us for all his life. Yeah, absolutely. And um, oh, that's it great. really is, is a beautiful it, it is a real love story. It's an Atlantic salmon. Right, okay. Beautiful. So I've just got this little thing here. Oh. That's, I was going to put chilli in it and I thought, you know, obviously you'd love chilli, you know, but I yes. thought, let's do the, the other way. That's a Spanish fresh truffle. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Oh boy. I think it's nice, just eh? a little bit of earthiness to it. Just over the, you just eat that, couldn't you really? And Seems Spanish to... truffle, so it's obviously... It's in season now. Oh, so I don't good. like to buy, look, it's... it's my thing's changed over the years. Um, I'll buy a little bit of truffle on our off season, uh -huh. but that's pretty much it from now on. In the restaurants, we used to, um, and I was guilty of it too, and it never really made sense. You know, you'd put um, um, asparagus on the menu, and then when it wasn't in season, you'd buy it from California yeah. or Mexico or wherever, wherever you could get it. Mm -hmm. And you sort of lose the, the whole romance of food. Yeah, you know? it should be seasonal, shouldn't it? It should be so seasonal, but no, that's why we did Chiswick. Yeah. So whatever's growing in the garden, that's what we're using. It doesn't, it's not enough for the restaurant, but we know that it's in season and it tells you on the menu and whatever else. Um, and I kind of brought back straight away that um, anticipation of, of getting something. Like, you know, mm. when asparagus goes, you go, right, what's gone? What's, what's now? What's coming what's, now? What's now? Yeah, yeah. and when you start to see it, you get really excited again. Yeah. When we lived in the south of France, you know, Jane would just go in the morning, like, like yeah. the restaurants did, go to the market. And you walk through the yeah. market and you see what's fresh, yeah. what's seasonal. And yeah. that's what you cook. Well, that was that's sort it. of all. You plan your menu. So, you plan yeah. your menu. It's exactly. Beautiful. I reckon, Jane, I reckon you're 100% right. This could have been thicker. And uh, oh, I could have thickened I it up. I didn't say that. No, no, I'm. I'm I just look, said I didn't. You know what, that. Jane, if I thought that I was right all the time, <laughs> you know, what would be oh, the no, point? It's just a Go, go for it, Jim. Just grab one. Jane. Okay, grab one. Yeah, I'm gonna grab Let that. Let me have a go. Don't have to, we don't have to eat it because there's still mm. plenty to eat, Jane. Yeah, I'm good. I the love butcher gives it a little bit of a kick. I was going to put chilli in it. I thought, no, you know what? I'll go down the truffle way. And where did you yes. guys meet? I know the story, but just for everyone else. In Canberra, my hometown. In Canberra. Yeah. Of all places. Oh, yeah. I was doing a gig. I was on tour with um, yeah, I, I didn't think you were with the Angels. <laughs> and, um, I was on tour with the Angels, a tour called Pool Resources in 1979. And I, I remember the minute I seen Jane. She doesn't remember me, but I, but I seen her in that afternoon, and I was I and I was. Well, we hadn't been introduced. But then we hadn't been introduced, so she did speak to me. Well, I but didn't. I didn't even know that it existed back then. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. And um, we um, I met her that night, and um, yeah. we're gonna just fell in love. So like that. Yeah. Took me a while to convince her. <laughs> yeah, these things are. <laughs> but um, it was uh, yeah, it was great. I yeah, I used to hate Canberra. Yeah, right. It was really not freezing cold, bloody yeah. place. until that day. Until you know, that day. No, 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 no Canberra, great, great place. Is it nervous? I am a little bit nervous. <laughs> the next day. Look, I, I told you. Am I you, making I'll, it worse? No, <laughs> I put my I put my spin on it, and um, but it's the it's the story of you guys, and um, I think you said Jimmy when Jane cooked this dish, that's when you knew you you had to marry her. <laughs> yeah. And it's a very famous dish, but it's not something that, you know, you see very often in restaurants. It was sort of a bit of a 70s dish, wasn't it? Made it, it well, you know what it is. <laughs> Apricot chicken. Apricot chicken. Yeah, I knew, like, I've seen it coming. I've seen it coming. But and it was, um, it's a sort of 70s thing. It, I think it definitely is a 70s yeah, 70s dish. a protein with fruit. If you gonna, need my help. It, it's like a, um, have you ever heard of jerk chicken? Mm -hmm. So rice, like lots of spices, yes, yes lots mm. of spices, lots of heat with rice underneath it, with chicken on top, 
and then you, you sort of like a, a bake, a chicken bake, mm -hmm. and you pull it out. So I've sort of taken it on that, on that sort of um, basis. Instead of rice, I'm gonna use couscous, and I'm gonna put a little bit more of a Mediterranean, sorry, yeah. a little bit more of a Middle Eastern feel. Right. Because I think- Well, the, there is an apricot chicken in, that you do in a tagine. Yeah, right, yeah, of course, dish, yeah, of course, so which is a, a, yeah, absolutely. So that's that's where I'm, I'm taking it. Maybe that's where it comes from. Maybe that's where it comes <laughs> from. If you'd have done a tagine, though, you might not marry me. Yeah. Because you know, I was the potatoes and, but <laughs> nowadays the tagine's very interesting. Now, from memory, the, Jane, you had a friend that also <laughs> oh, had a bit no. of a thing for Jimmy. <laughs> they both had these dishes that they cooked. Yeah. What, Jane's was apricot chicken. Yeah. And her friend cooked veal bananas. And I said to Jane, I said to Jane, if you made me feel bananas, you'd still be single. <laughs> but it's just too funny. It's just, it's just too it, funny. Look, in 1978, you couldn't get much. No, you but know, that there is that a dish? Is that a dish? I've never heard of veal and bananas in my life. <laughs> well, it was a thing. Was it a thing? Yeah, it Margaret Fulton was well, it? Was it Margaret no, it Fulton? wasn't Margaret Fulton. I was going to say, if Margaret Fulton did it, it Margaret no, Fulton was didn't. an idol of mine, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you. She did apricot chicken. Yeah, she did. But I don't know where veal bananas came from, but that was... <laughs> she mentioned it. <laughs> veal bananas. I know, it's, just, me, really. it's actually she, not as, as bad day, as it sounds. Um, I'm not a big fan. Of, you know, a lot of people say to me, Matt, is there anything that you won't eat? And I often say, and that comes out, is raw capsicum. And I don't know why. And I think it's mainly maybe because when I was younger, you know, um, you used to find capsicum. You? Yeah, but you have capsicum in all the salads that? and stuff. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. No, I never really agreed with it. And... and all the singers in the family, which is all the family, <laughs> we don't they can't. During they the day, can't because in then the day. repeats on you while you're, and you're trying Are to you sing. Singing? Yeah, right. Oh, so there like. must be something that reacts with your. I suppose but I do you like to think stomach. about that, don't you? Yeah. You do. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're in the middle of you know a, a song. No garlic, no raw onion. Right. No raw capsicum. When you sing, because otherwise it just it doesn't look good on stage. Yeah. It all sounds good, really. And then once that's been sauteed, I'm going to take that out. Do you, do you know the original recipe? No. <laughs> At all? Okay, we'll wait till I tell you. You're going to be shocked when you hear the original. Am I? Yeah. You will be so shocked. Because you, you've got to remember what, about my simple taste. Yeah. <laughs> but also the times and me being a university student and yeah. also what was available. All right, come on, you got to tell me now. I need to tell you. Yeah, tell it's me It's from all. the back of the French, French onion, onion packet soup. Right. So that's the main ingredient. French onion soup. French onion soup. You know the right. dried one? The dried one. one. Yeah. Yep. And you make it. But you, but you, and, and the sauce is that with apricot nectar. Right. And that's it. That's it. And look, and I said, this is the and girl from you me. know. <laughs> so how you easy know. was that? Gee. And that's where she's probably thinking, oh, God. But it easy. actually tastes good. I mean, you add. You add but you uh, fry the chicken like this. And your onion. Brandy. Ooh. Yeah, so you fry your chicken and your onion. Yes. And, and you then... take it up, then you do, you know, you put the the apricot nectar in to get all the makings, all the juices off the pan. You glaze. <laughs> you glaze and then you add, And that's it. And then you add a packet of French onion soup. I, I could imagine what you were eating back in those days. Oh, like, rubbish. Like, just rubbish. This, this was exotic. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, some dogs was like a big meal. We just ate rubber. We're on the road. We're but but when chips. you're on the road, though, they you're just chips. eating. You're eating chips. They'd share a packet and of chips. Anything they fed you backstage. You know? Anything they fed you. Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't good. You know. No. no. Until I met Jane, I might, you know, suddenly my taste went changed. Out. Yeah. But you know what? That happens with so many people. And you know, when I started cooking at, at 15, you know, after the RSL, and I was working at the French restaurant, um, I always thought I hated seafood. And I was 15. Oh, In actual fact, I'd never eaten it. <laughs> I'd never seen it. Fish fingers was the only thing we ever saw. Thanks. Thanks. You know? I saw your fish fingers there. Your fish fingers. Oh, they yeah. were great. I love fish fingers. Uh, so that's quite spicy. Yep. It's got a little bit chilly. I'm just going to put that back into the pot. Mm -hmm. right. I'm going to pour this over the top. This uh -huh. is a lot more Middle Eastern. It looks good. Yes. It is more Middle Eastern. Yeah, but it's got apricot in it. Yeah. Apricot nectar. That's the sweetness. And that's why I, why I put the spice in it, because I think if you don't put the spice in it, it becomes too sweet. So that's quite soft in there. Yeah. And then chicken. Looking good, brown, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then put a lid on it. And then whack it in the oven for about 45 minutes. Or like that. 
There's more. Fresh and apricots. And just push them down Amazing. a little bit. 45 minutes, but you know, here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> Well, listen, that apricot chicken and, and the photo with the fruit, I think we're going to marry you as well. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I said, if this is really bloody good, don't get any ideas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Send the photo. Yeah. It's not, it's not for you, Jimmy. <laughs> You're making it for Jane. Making it for Jane. Looks amazing. Huh? That's pretty impressive, isn't it? It's all right, isn't it? Looks yes. nice, really nice. Yeah. I think we're going to go take it over table plates and we'll sit it in the middle and then we'll serve it up and we can eat it over there. Yeah? Wow. I, would have, I thought that um, couscous might have dried out a little bit, but it hasn't at all. It looks nice. excellent. It looks good, it doesn't like it? Brilliant. It smells good. I don't know. It's the, the sweetness of the apricot and the, the tartness of it at the same time. It's very time. nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really, really it's such good. a special and the couscous food. is great. Couscous really is good, good, isn't it? Really good. Yeah. So this is, I think this is, you know, Middle Eastern inspired. Very nice. Yeah. I think it's, we'll have a go at this. Yeah, like a tagine, you know, with the prunes mm. or with the apricots. Yeah. I'm actually going to try it. Yeah, yeah. I love, way. I love, um, I love prunes and, and dates and, mm. and pistachio. So what's your go-to meal? If you're sitting around, you're going to cook, make something up for yourself. What's, an, what's a, a normal, what's your favourite sort of little go-to? Oh, Jim, it's not, it's hard because, you know, it's like asking you what's your favourite song. Yeah. Um, mm. it, it's. I'll sing it for you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do that because I want to hear Jane play the guitar. Yeah, yeah good on you, buddy. Um, um, I would say, look, on, on a Sunday, you know, I don't want to spend every you know, hour in the kitchen. I often make a, a master stock, which yep. I've got in the freezer, bring it out, I refresh it a little bit. You know, I boil it at about midday, I put a chook in, put a lid on it, forget about it, go out mm. for the day, come back, reheat Perfect. a little bit at six o'clock, then got, you know, um, boiled chicken. Boiled chicken and rice. Yeah. The, the, the best, the best yeah. thing ever. Oh, well, I think it's one of your favourite things, isn't it? Singapore chicken. Yeah. Hainan chicken. Hainan Hainan chicken. Hainan chicken. Hainan chicken. It was one of the best dishes yeah. ever. Yeah. It's always perfectly cooked because of the soft cool Comfort down. food. Yeah, comfort yeah. food. Um, um, right, so playing the guitar, Jane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to have to get you to play it. Sometime. Okay. And Jim, are you going to sing something? Yeah, sure, mate. Yeah. No problem. Do you know what you're going to sing? Yeah. I know we know exactly what we're going to sing for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I'm getting really emotional. <laughs> I'm a soft sort of boy, you know. Mm. Yeah, we well, can do my, that we, now. You might not be after this. <laughs> on, that fate, on that fateful night we met, you know, one of the things, <laughs> that, that stories I've told is true. I was sitting there and Jane said, I'd like to play a song for you. And I'm like, this is the girl I've just met. And she played Puff the Magic Dragon. Yeah. And I, just, I was that sitting there. Just just like, and I, you know, I, was, I was like sort of fairly well two sheets to the wind. And I'm sitting mm. there and going, Oh dear. Mm. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I remember watching Puff the Magic Dragon on TV and I was a little kid and I remember the song. Uh, Lived at Hor Hor Lee, was it? Yep. Puff the Magic Dragon. Lived at Hor Hor Lee. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I know okay, the words. Okay, so you'll know this song. You can sing with us. I'm, I'm, do you I know this song? You got intro? I'm sure, I'm, I haven't looked yet, but I'm sure right. I do. You got the intro? Just, just start with it. <laughs>
Fogarty sing that? No, that was originally Hank Williams. Hank, Hank Williams. Williams. Did, did Fogarty sing it?